Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today. So as you can see on my screen, I'm going to continue a video series for AWS Systems Manager. Today I'll gonna show you how to install SSM agent on EC2 Linux instances or any flavor of Linux instance that we have in Amazon. So by default, SSM agent is installed in Amazon Linux based AMIs dated like 2017 September or later. SSM agent also installed by default on Amazon Linux 2, Ubuntu Server 16.04 and Ubuntu Server 18.04 LTS AMIs. So by default, we are getting SSM agent installed on these AMIs provided by Amazon. Also, if you come with the Windows flavor of uh, AMIs, 2016 plus version comes with uh, default installation of SSM agent. So to do the installation, let's say uh, your AMI doesn't have a installation of SSM. So how can you do that, right? So I'll be using some user data script while launching EC2 instance. This is the user data script like a bash script where with the help of sudo yum install. So with the yum help of yum manager, I'm going to install SSM agent placed at S3 Amazon aws.com and again this link is from amazon it's not my personal link so this is safe to download and install and with the help of system ctl command we're gonna enable ssm agent and start it so let's do that right away let's go to ec2 management console okay let's try to provision any flavor of Linux instance and I'll share you the Amazon link as well where we have all these data script provided to install SSM agent. Let's go with Amazon Linux or let's go with Amazon Linux 2. I know like with versions uh, dated after September 2017 already comes with this particular uh, SSM agent install but I just wanted to show you how to do the manual installation if it is not there configure the detail select your VPC subnet I'll gonna enable this because I don't have any private subnet now here we have something called user data again user data is already explained as part of EC2 instance video series so I'll gonna share the link for that particular playlist you can go through that and try to understand how to provision EC2 instance with user data. Again, in brief, user data is a place where you provide your PowerShell script or shell script to install or whenever your instance will get provision, that will get provision with certain number of softwares or like installables in place inside C drive or D drive or any places that you want to configure, right? So let's copy and paste our bash script. Come on, paste it. This will going to ins uh, download and install my SSM agent and enable SSM agent with start command. Add storage. I'll gonna keep everything as default. Name, Linux SSM, configure, that's the security group review launch launch acknowledge so this is the way you will be going to install your SSM agent on your EC2 Linux machine so once this server gets provision I'll gonna log into the server and show it to you whether SSM agent has been installed successfully or not this will going to take some time so I'll gonna pause this video so instance has been provisioned successfully Let's go to our terminal and connect this instance. I'm into my terminal. See downloads. In downloads folder, I have my key. Connect and grab the command for SSH. Paste it. Okay, something wrong. Should be with EC2 user. Yep. Here we go, we are connected to our EC2 instance now. So the command to check the version is with yum manager, yum info SSM agent. Let's copy this and paste it over here. 
this will going to show us the version so name is amazon ssm agent that's the architecture version is 2.3.978 release is one size repo is installed manage ec2 instant ssm and all those things so everything and this is licensed with apache so whatever the information that we have installed with ssm is shown over here with the help of vm command again i'll share you one link where we have like how to install amazon systems manager this is available on amazon website you can see like uh, if you want to have amazon linux 2 rel 7 or centos you can use this bash script otherwise every flavors of linux we have uh, bash script written over here which will give you a easier way to create your ec2 instant and install your ssm agent on linux flavor of os so that's it guys for this particular video just try it out on your account as we will be learning more about ssm systems manager from amazon so we'll be you we need ssm agent installed on our windows system or linux system as well so with the help of uh, ssm agent we'll be trying to execute certain commands like docker execution how to play ansible playbook and all those stuff whatever we have present as part of the run command just place out a comment in comment section if you're facing any issue and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye